guys and welcome back to the channel um, I was asked a couple of days ago about what kind of uh, first-person shooter games I play other than heroes and generals and so here's a small quick list of the games I play other than heroes and generals now some of these games are mods for games that already exist some are games that don't exist yet but I'll be giving my two cents on those so um, plain and simple it, boots on the ground fun to play heroes and generals uh, now bear in mind guys if you like to fly um, H&G may not be the game for you currently right now simply because the flight control system is being re -over is being overhauled completely from the ground up they're, they're doing it from scratch they're redoing it all but uh, if, you're, if you like to tank and have some fun and whatnot again not a bad game again the tank combat compared to other tank games I play for example uh, War Thunder world of tanks um the tank combat in this game is very lacking but you know they, again they said that they are working on adding modular damage like tracks and engine and ammo rack and stuff like that so that'd be interesting to see uh then of course we've got the ubiquitous red orchestra 2 now this is the rising storm game of the year edition you can get it all at a really 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 nice cheap price they're also doing a tripwire bundle where you get a metric shit ton of stuff for their other games like killing floor one killing floor two uh, I, I have killing floor one and two so i don't need this bundle but um right now rising storm is the twenty dollars and there you go that's it the digital deluxe is 29 i really don't think you get anything extra in the digital deluxe over the regular you can also get a four pack so you can send uh, three codes off to your friends so all, all four of you can play the game together this is a more down-to-earth zero hard hardcore realistic shooter quite literally it, it this makes most world war ii first person shooters look like fucking child's play it it really does um in one garen's kill in one shot uh you know like i said weapons in this game have feel have recoil have spread it it all depends on what you're doing you know things like that you can download uh, maps and skins and stuff like that from the Steam Workshop. So if you get bored with the, the regular maps that are in the game, you can also download stuff from the Steam Workshop library. Yes, that is a flamethrower. Yes, those are grenade launchers that are in, in, in your rifles. Again, uh, Rising Storm is majority America ja versus Japan. There is one called Red Orchestra 2, uh, 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 Rising Storm. Uh, sorry, not Rising Storm. Um, where is it? Red Orchestra 2. Uh, there it is. Uh, Rising Storm slash Red Orchestra 2. Red Orchestra 2 is the Soviets and the uh, Germans. Uh, there are mods that you can get for the game that will uh, let you play as Americans versus Germans. Uh, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, overall, not bad. Game for $20. Um, it's the, you can usually get it cheaper on sale or from places like G2A. Stuff like that. But normally, uh, if you can't, I would just get it for the, the flat 20 bucks. Uh, it is a fun game to play, it really is. Uh, tanks are multi-crew, which means you need a gunner, a driver, a commander, a loader, a radio operator, uh, and they're all individual players. So you will, in order for your tank to be actually truly, truly, truly effective, you will need a fully crewed tank. Uh, then we've got Heroes of the West. Heroes of the West is a mod for Red Orchestra 2. Uh, what this does is, is, it's a whole bunch of brand new maps, a whole bunch of brand new weapons, uh, such as the MP44, which was the prototype Strongewehr, as well as other variants of the Strongewehr in the game that the Germans did field, but in very limited quantities that aren't in other games. Things like that. Um, there's even British weapons. You can even play as the British in this one in Heroes of the West. So you can play as the Brits. You can play a, as other smaller factions as well. I think there's a, a, a Swiss faction coming here in the next update for Heroes of the West. Uh, but it's a, it's a fun free mod for Red Orchestra 2. So, as I was telling you, there are some mods out there that are actually quite fun to play. Um, this is a community-made uh, mod, uh, which means the community gets to chip in as to what gets added, what gets taken out, things like that. So, always read the patch notes from day to day to day to day from patch, from patch, from update to update. Next one is Day of Infamy. Now, Day of Infamy uh, takes Red Orchestra, injects it with steroids, and makes it even harder. Um, quite literally, it, 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 the way they were going with this game is it's clear that they wanted to 
take movies like Saving Private Ryan, take out the Hollywood, and make it damn near as realistic as they could. And they have done that in Day of Infamy. There's no on-screen HUD for your health or your stamina or, or even crosshairs, quite literally. Hip firing in this game is a it is is luck more than anything else. Uh, it is teamwork orientated. When they say that, they literally mean that. If you are not in a team, you are going to get shit on. Um, it is a very 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 fun game to play. It is an early access game, of course, and it is twenty dollars. Uh, the majority of these games are going to be twenty dollars or more. Um, as you can see, I do have a few uh, achievements already unlocked. Um, it is going it, to, it, it, like I said, most of the games are either early access or are going to be $20 or more. Now, next game is Iron Front Liberation 1944. This is a mod that first started off in Armor 2. Uh, it's now been ported over to Armor 3. Uh, as you guys know, I have Armor, Armor, I have Armor 1 Combat Operations and I have Armor 3. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Armor 2, so I never got really into the whole Iron Front when it first got launched. I've, I've recently just started getting into it, uh, and just like armor, you can literally modify your guns, your vehicles, and everything just like you can in, in uh, armor, of course. So if you want a, a different trigger, a different sight, a different whatever on your weapons, you can do that, uh, which is one of the things that I actually do like. I want What I like from the whole Heroes and Generals aspect of, of gameplay is the fact that I can customize my rifle and make it mine. I can make it mine. It's no one else's but mine. Does that make sense? And that's what I enjoy. Um, and so I wanted to take that aspect in, but I wanted to make the game, I want the maps to be bigger. I want, you know, tanks to be, uh, what's the word? I, I don't want tanks to literally just, oh, we're a tiny skirmish map here, have 50 tanks either side, where you literally can't spit without hitting 100 bloody tanks. I don't want that. You know, that that's just silly. That That is quite literally just stupid and silly. Uh, but Iron Front literally spans it out. Um, they take realistic aspects, which is if you're in, if you're in, um, if you're in, if you're in the Eastern Front, and you know your tank battalions are, are down to skeleton crews, i.e., five tanks or less. The tanks are, are literally going to group up the best they can to defend themselves if they come under attack, or they're going to spread out and, and basically just do what they do best, which is catch that odd Sherman out by itself catch that odd hellcat out by itself it's a really fun game again uh, there are a lot of clans in this game there are a lot of people that use VOP um, again very realistic you've got to take into account bullet drop uh, uh, wind drift you've got to take into a lot of things uh, if you're trying to hit a target past 300 400 meters you really have to take into effect a lot of things and yes it's not just the Tiger 2 in this game they also have the Panzer 4 H you know they have the, the flak 88 and the, the anti-tanks They've even got 109s. They've got freaking. They, they literally. They're, and again, because it's on Steam, it does incorporate Steam Workshop, which means you can also get realistic skins and uh, various other maps and mods for the game. Now, a little bit of a tangent. Like, what the heck? I'm going to add this in anyway. Um, this is a game called Contract Wars. Now, I play this. This is a Facebook game. You can also play it on other various um, social media websites. This uses the Unity engine. So everything is generated in 3D, as you can see. That is a uh, SU, uh, SU, no, Sklaznoi 74, 74U, I want to say. Yeah, it's a Sklaznoi 74U. And uh, of course, you can customize it, you know, different uh, scopes, barrels, uh, skins, things like that. Now, granted, this isn't a World War II shooter, but I play it simply because. In all honesty, it's just something I play when I'm waiting for a video to render, or I've got nothing else to do. Like, um, you know, I'm I'm home alone, and I, you know, I just don't want to rub one out on Red Two, you know, or whatever. I then just hop on my Facebook, go into to, to Contract Wars, and I just go straight into a quick match and just play and have fun. Uh, it is a fun little shooter. Um, it. it it's awkward at best, but it is a fun little shooter. Uh, I don't. Uh, it's not for everyone, so I don't. Uh, this is why I'm only briefly mentioning it. I'm not actually adding it. Now I'm going to be talking about two games coming up after this. The one is not even early access yet. It's got a lot of hype about it. I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons, and then I'm going to talk about another one that is, you know, just past early access. It's in closed alpha slash closed beta. 
and we'll talk about, about more of that, of that now. This is enlisted. This is done by Gaijin Entertainment. These are the guys that do War Thunder. Um, and so, what can I say about this game? The, the video looks really nice, really fancy, nicely done. Um, we can watch the video here real quick. It's a 30 second video. Um, I'm going to let the video play as I talk. Basically, from what I've seen is... In all honesty, I don't think that the game's going to go that far. I mean, yes, it has reached one its first stretch goal, but barely, and I do mean barely, met its stretch goal. Um, 37th out over its stretch goal to some is like, oh, that's a lot. No, it's not. Not for game development. Because you've got to understand, programmers need paid, uh, uh, coders need paid, uh, artists need paid, voice actors need paid. You know, then the game, are you, are you doing a digital only distribution? Are you actually going to print discs? What about t-shirts, posters? How are you going to advertise it? You know, it, it, money literally like this will just piss out the window quicker than you can think. Um, the fact that they've done it in a, in, in a Kickstarter style where you buy the weapons and this doesn't even guarantee you into the camp, the, in, into the closed beta. None of these guarantee you into the closed beta <coughs> edit none of these guarantee you into the closed beta with the exception of the armed to the teeth bundle for 49.99 so for 50 bucks and it's sold out you can't get into the but you can't get into the early access it's completely gone so people like uh, fly daily um and a few others yeah they're gonna get into the early access sadly i'm not because I didn't get a chance to buy in. Now, Fly is going to get in, not because he probably paid for it, but because Gaijin are going to... He's a big YouTube channel that likes to promote Gaijin's games, um, even if they flop. You know, uh, looking at you, your Mad Max clone game that came out that I can barely even remember your ga the game's name. Um, that's a now a complete flop. Fly doesn't even do any videos on that game. It's a complete flop. They know it's a flop. Their space fighter game that they came out with a, uh, about a year ago, two years ago, that's a flop. That's gone. No one plays that anymore. Um, but like I said, they, they've... I understand that crowdsourcing a game like this is fun, but the down, downside is this right here. Release the game for consoles. No. I'm sorry, but no. Console players in War Thunder ruin the game. They've got aim assist built into their console and you can't disable it, whether it be a 360, whether it be a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, they have aim assist built in and Gaijin knows it. So the next time you're flying behind a bomber that has an asterisk next to its name, you think, oh, it's a PlayStation 4 script kitty. I can kill it. And he's gonna one shot you right in the head. Now you know why. Because those fuckers have aim assist and Gaijin doesn't fucking care. Okay, the moment you add aim assist approved players into a PC based game that requires Twitch shooting, because ultimately from the video I watched, this game is going to be very twitchy. It's whoever gets first shot on target and pulls the trigger. Very similar to Rising Storm, very similar to Heroes of the West, very similar to, to, to Day of Infamy and I. All these games, all these four games are considered Twitch shooters because the first person who gets point on target and pulls the trigger usually wins the firefight with that doesn't normally happen with uh, heroes and generals but um enlisted looks like it's going to be very similar to the last set and in all honesty if it is <sighs> the people who paid into the game early are going to have all the benefits and all the bonuses and people who finally catch on and and scrounge up the 6.99 or the 8.99 or whatever or the 11.99 to get in and play are going to be so far behind that they're just going to quit because they're going to see another guy who's got better guns better skins better models better everything who knows the maps like the back of his fucking hand because you put a, sh a limit cap on the amount of people who could get into your early access this is why i honestly think enlisted is going to fail that's point one you limited the amount of players that can get in, even though you're still offering this stuff. 
So you early access for twenty four ninety nine. So twenty four to fifty. So twenty five to fifty bucks gets you in the early access. See. See, you see what I'm saying? They're all sold out. Sold, 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 sold. So no one can get into your early access. So you're not going to get a mixed review of anything. You literally fucked yourself in the ass with a glass dildo and snapped it off. That's where I'm going to end with Enlisted. Now, uh, Escape from Tarkov. I've seen a lot of videos about this game, especially on YouTube and various other platforms. Now, the game does look good. But the problem with the game is simply this. It's a team orientated game. Which means if you are in a Ventrilo or a Mumbles or a Skype or a TeamSpeak or whatever you're using with your friends, okay, you can easily gank that one or two players. Now if you're just start, if you're just new to the game, now if they add an option where it's like player versus environment only, where it's box Who's to say that those bots aren't going to be like fucking insane difficulty and a wall bang headshot in you before you even come around the corner? You know, th this is the problem with, with uh, 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 games like Escape from Tarkov. If you're interested in ganking people, in all honesty, the game you want to play is... And, and I really even hate to say this the game that you want to play if you want to gank people like that it is bloody game on origin where is it not origin um you play uh not rainbow six um the division that's the game that you want to play you'll, you'll want to play the division why because that's what they do in the division they gank they wait for you to go into the dark zone they wait just by the door you come through ganked and they know that what they're doing is broken, it's unfair, it's one-sided for their victory only. They know this. Why do you think that they do it? You know, it's, he didn't have any stuff. But it don't matter because we killed him. <laughs> you know, they, they just don't care. You know, they just don't care because they just want to ruin everyone's fun. That's what this game is going to feel like to me. Now, there is an, a different side to this. If there is like a PVE only aspect, how hard are going to be the AI? Are they going to be wall banging? It's an insane difficulty. I'm getting headshotted before I even come around the corner. Like the, the, the AI in... Um, like the AI in... Uh, where is it? Rainbow Six Siege. Because if you've ever done the Lone Wolf in Rainbow Six Siege, you're getting wall banged by guys that didn't even know you're behind that wall. They're just... Ba -ba 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 you're dead. It's like, how the fuck did they know I was behind that wall? Why? Because people can't code AI properly. They just can't code. Now, this is where I have an issue with the game. It is 45 bucks for the standard edition. It is 80, it, it's 75 bucks for the left behind edition. And then it's $100 for the prepare for escape edition. And then it's, now there's even an Edge of Darkness one that's $140. I'm not dropping anywhere near these sort of prices for a game that I don't even know is going to even make it out of closed beta. See what I'm saying? I don't even know if the game's going to make it out of closed beta. The, the company has not made any kind of public guarantee that the game is coming out of closed beta. If they are, I mean, I... It, by all means, if you've got 45 bucks burning a hole in your pocket, fuck, donate it to me. Links will be in the video description. You know, if, if you don't, then don't fucking bother. Because trust me, there are, look, see, purchases are locked to specific graphic, uh, geographic region. Uh, the purchase was made from. The game can only be launched if your current region is the same. Basically, they're, they're region locking it because they realize that people will be buying these games. For example, they'll be buying the uh, uh, Edge of Darkness limited edition, hold on to it, and I mean hold on to it till the game goes live and then throw it up on G2A for triple that price. And people will buy it. And so that's what they've done now. It, it, it's, there's no global keys. It's all, hey, if, you, if you're in Russia and, you're, and, you, and you get this, you can only play it in Russia. Now, 
seriously, look. Why? Why? Okay. Early unlock of the digital copy. Guaranteed access to the closed beta. Guaranteed participant in alpha testing. Bonus equipment at start. Why? You can lose that if you get ganked. Huge stash size. Okay. Additional equipment and resources in stash. Okay. Why? You'll lose half of that when you get ganked. Unique secured container. Okay. Large field backpack. Doesn't matter. You'll lose that when you get ganked. Uh, even more cash at the start. Doesn't matter. You'll lose that when you get ganked. Combat tactical tomahawk. Doesn't matter. you lose that if you get ganked. Initial good standings with all in-game traders doesn't mean shit. Unique game ID doesn't mean shit. Free access to all subsequent DLCs. Again, you're not getting it, are you? All that shit I just pointed out to you that you paid 140 bucks for, you can lose if you're ganked in-game. Because there is no way to go from PvP to PvE. Unlike you can in the division. In the division, you just don't go in the fucking dark zone. And guess what? If you're not in the dark zone, you can't get fucking ganked. That's not going to happen here in Escape from Tarkov. In Escape, now, this is the thing. I like the idea of Escape from Tarkov. I like the fact that I can put any scope, any mag, any whatever, as long as it's within the same chambered caliber and things like that, on my gun. So if I want to turn my M6, my M4... In from a close quarters combat gun to a medium range marksman, almost like you know, almost the freaking M14 sort of style gun. I can as long as I've got the mods. But the downside to that is, unless you've got night vision and you're on the map, you're gonna get ganked by people who have fucking night vision. Why? Because they bought in and they've got all the night vision equipment or they've looted everything at the beginning of the closed beta. Again, you've got to understand. Stuff you capture in the beta stays with your character. There's not going to be any beta wipes. They've clearly said that there's going to be no beta wipes. So people like freaking Jack Frags, and again, this is no disrespect to you, Jack. Jack, I think you're amazing. I think your content's amazing. Jack has actually got the uh, 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 bought into the uh, 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 Escape from Tarkov. And he, you can clearly see that he's got the Edge of Darkness edition or more, or he's even got a press account because he had fucking everything. And in the and in the and same as uh, uh, um, Jack plays games. Another guy who played the uh, 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 Tarkov uh, vid uh, game for a bit. He ganked five fucking people, back to back to back to back to back, looted all their fucking shit. And he goes, "Oh well, I've got this is better than what I've got. This is better than what I've got. That's better than what." And, and those people were out of those items. And I get that. I get that they're trying to do a more realistic freaking thing. But at the end of the day. What you've got to understand is there are there are going to be players who are new to this game, who don't know shit about this game, who are new to this genre, who don't know shit about this genre, that are going to get ganked, they're going to get fucked, and, and, and there's fuck all they can do about it. Because there's always going to be players that do that shit. I.e., let's go back to the division. Oh, I'm entering the dark zone. Fuck, I'm dead. There goes half my shit. Why? Because there's four people waiting by that door. Let me pick a different door. Oh, look, I'm dead again. Why? Because there's another separate fucking group by that door. Again, it, 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 it's such a, a dilemma right now in the division that they're planning on releasing a complete and total patch update. Okay? An entire fucking patch update to nerf that from happening. Well, what is what are the guys that escape from Tarkov going to do? What is Battlestate Games going to do when that starts happening in their game? Because the players are going to get bored with what they're doing in the division and just hop over onto this game and do it to new players who are just joining. They're just going to look around and say, "Oh, look, you know, I'll buy the Left Behind edition. Why I've got seventy-five bucks in my Skyrocket because I'm not fucking buying the DLC for the division because there's nothing fucking new." get into the bloody game, have all these bonus equipment and everything else, and they're just going to wait by the extraction point. They're just going to wait there. Them and their friends. You show up with a whole bunch of gear that you've looted, and you think, yeah, I'm, I'm great, I'm, I'm cool, I'm going to make it, and out of nowhere, you're dead. They've looted your shit, and now they're escaping with your loot. You've lost everything. Or worst case scenario, you just show up, you get right outside the fucking main, in you're in the main area by the fucking gas station, which is the area that everyone has to go through, mind you. Nice building on your map there, guys. And all of a sudden, you get ganked. 
They steal all your shit. And they're laughing. And you think, fuck it. You know, you go back in. How? You've got no weapon. You've got no nothing. Because guess what? The starter edition, all you've got is nothing. Absolutely nothing. You've got no credits. You've got no nothing. The vendors don't like you. There's nothing you can do. It's like taking a knife to a fucking tank fight. Quite literally. They're in a fucking Abrams five miles away and you're running at them with a fucking can opener basically this is the level of fuckery you're gonna end up having to try and deal with battle state games and that's the thing i would love to get in and actually play this game get some video footage and prove my fucking point but the problem is i'm not dropping 45 bucks at a minimum just to get 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe an hour's worth of footage to prove to you guys that your game is literally going to be sided towards the guys who got in first. Think about it, okay? When you're fucking a woman, would you rather be her sloppy seconds or would you rather be the guy that busts it wide open? That's the point <laughs> you've got to make. That's the point you've got to think about. The guys who have bought into the, uh, in, 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 who have bought into the beta okay they're already busting in that goal and the poor bastards who finally scrounge up 45 bucks from their paper route or from you know from christmas or gift cards or whatever they got for their birthday and they get into the game and they get gang banged and i mean fucking gang banged and then all of a sudden it's like well fuck this game and they they try and get a refund you're now out that 45 bucks battle state games or worse, you keep fighting it, keep fighting it, keep fighting it. <coughs> they go to PayPal and just completely fucking reverse it. And then PayPal takes the 45 from you and some for you fighting it. So you're now out even more. All because you don't fucking think. Again, great game, great idea, poorly implemented, poorly executed. So, now you guys know what games I play when I am not playing Heroes and Generals. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, I also play. Uh, I still go back and play my original uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist and a few others. Uh, I do have Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed Black Flag, although I don't really play them that much. Uh, of course, The Division. Uh, again, I really don't play that much anymore either. Um, other than that, guys, they're pretty much the only games I play, uh, with the exception of maybe a couple of Facebook games. And that's only when I'm in like a dentist's waiting room and I just want to kill some time. Or, you know, it, it's just it, it's just a time kill factor for me, basically. It's what all they are. So, yeah, I uh, hope this video helped. If it did, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, there's a subscription button over there. Give the video a like. And most importantly, check the video, check in the description down below for my donation page and my Facebook and, and all my social media links and whatnot. So give me a follow over there too. Until then, guys. I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep your flying, keep your enemies dying. Your cover commander is out. And I'll see you sexy bastards in the next video, my friends.